In 1974, the 46th Academy Awards ceremony aired with host David Niven. Elizabeth Taylor was a presenter. While the show was fairly ordinary in many ways, there was one unplanned event that occurred during the broadcast and caught the world by storm. A streaker took the stage during the ceremony and subsequently became a celebrity for his activism. Years later, that same streaker was murdered in an unrelated incident. Join Faxverse as we explore the tragic murder of Robert Opel, the Oscar streaker of 1974. Although the 74 Academy Awards ceremony was typical, there was an unexpected event that occurred in the middle of it. Midway through the ceremony, David Niven was interrupted by a naked man storming across the stage of the show with a peace sign. This was Robert Opel, a gay political activist and teacher who became famous for this streaking incident and was later murdered. Opel was born in East Orange, New Jersey on October 23, 1939. His family moved around several times while he was still young, giving him experiences in Kentucky, Kansas, and even Canada. By the time he was in grade school, his family had settled down in Pittsburgh. Robert stayed there throughout his school years, eventually graduating college. While in college, he was elected to a fairly prestigious position in student government. He was a proud member of the Student Congress, allowing him to get a taste for politics that eventually led him towards his career in activism. In addition to being a member of the Student Congress, he also served as chairman of the school's regional debate team. After graduating, he put this experience to use by becoming a speechwriter for the current governor of California. That, of course, was future President Ronald Reagan. It seems ironic Robert should have officially started out his career in politics working for a conservative politician when the activist went on to become famous for his liberal beliefs. By 1974, Robert was working as an ESL teacher, or English as a Second Language, in the L.A. City Unified School District. He was fired from that position after the Oscars incident. Of course, it was worth it to Robert, whose real passion was championing gay rights, world peace, and public nudity. The Robert Opel streaking incident wasn't the first controversial moment that had graced the Academy Awards. The previous year, actor Sachi Littlefeather had made headlines when he turned down the acceptance of his Academy Award for Best Actor from presenter Marlon Brando. While this and other incidents had certainly created buzz, no previous Oscars incident had ever been quite so controversial as the one involving Opel. Beyond being the most memorable unplanned incident in Oscars history, many also consider Robert's streaking turn to be the most notable streaking event that's ever occurred in protest history. The art of streaking had become incredibly popular during the early 70s, which is perhaps why host David Niven memorably ad-libbed after the event that a streaking incident was simply bound to have happened at some point during an Oscars broadcast. The crowd laughed, and a few were likely too surprised by what they saw. However, one person who was taken aback was Elizabeth Taylor. Streaking had come about both as a form of protest and a simple freewheeling pastime for high school and college kids. For Robert, the streaking was predominantly politically motivated, although the smile on his face certainly suggested he was having fun doing it. Either way, there was a simple message Robert was trying to get across, and that was that people should be more peaceful and accepting of other people, particularly naked people. After Robert disappeared behind the stage, the crowd burst into laughter at the shocking appearance of the nude man who had just paraded across it. Both David Niven and Elizabeth Taylor played it cool, although Elizabeth later shared she was at a loss for words. After the event, Robert and his message rose to greater prominence than ever. But the activist's life was soon going to take a tragic turn. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. After gay rights activist, teacher, and artist Robert Opel graced the stage of the 46th Academy Awards ceremony with his naked body, host David Niven casually commented that a streaking incident was bound to happen. From there, he said stripping down and bearing all before the public was perhaps the funniest thing a person could do. At both the incident itself and David's observations, the crowd shared some of the most boisterous laughter the Oscars has ever seen. Elizabeth Taylor said upon her introduction that the streaking incident was going to be an incredibly hard act for her to follow. She later said she was worried she wasn't going to be able to say her lines. As a career political activist, the 46th Academy Awards ceremony wasn't the first place Robert had streaked. However, it was certainly the most notable. Before the ceremony, he had previously gotten nude before the L.A. City Council to protest the banning of the area's local nude beaches. Robert believed people should be allowed to be nude if they wanted, and he was a man who put his money where his mouth was. Although Robert made his most notable impressions with streaking, getting naked wasn't his only form of activism. He also garnered attention by dressing up as a gigantic phallus in a further effort to protest laws against public nudity. 
To save his family any potential embarrassment, Robert changed the spelling of his last name before he became a career activist championing public nudity. For Robert, O-P-E-L was spelled with one P, while the rest of his family continued to spell it with two. With that streaking incident at the Oscars, Robert successfully achieved what he had set out to do, get attention for himself and his cause. Instead of being arrested after the ceremony, Robert was famously given an opportunity to explain to the audience from backstage why he did what he did. From there, he used his own fame to further champion his causes. The Academy's reception to his streaking incident was so positive, many wondered if the event had been a stunt. If that was the case, no one has ever come clean about it. According to Robert himself, it was just a miraculous turn of events. Robert also worked in photography. He had photographs published in many LGBTQ magazines, including in the periodicals Finger and The Advocate. He was also the editor of Finger. In 1976, Robert used the fame he gained from the streaking incident to announce his candidacy for the U.S. presidency. He cheekily used the slogan that he had, quote, nothing to hide. Although the bid turned out to be little more than another novelty for the career activist, it did further increase his profile. He then opened up Fei Wei Studios in San Francisco. The gallery was a place for gay artists to display their work, however deranged and demented it might have been. The gallery was a place for gay artists to display their work. Robert loved giving artists a place to display work that others might turn a blind eye towards for its content. Sadly, Feiwei Studios proved to be the location where he was tragically murdered. On July 7, 1979, two men broke into the gallery after closing hours and demanded Robert and some friends that were with him give them money and drugs. Robert and his friends ended up being tied up in the back room where Robert was later shot in the back of the head and killed. The two men who committed the crime were caught and are currently serving life sentences. At the time of his death, Robert was only 39. Now it's time to hear from you. Comment down below to share if you were saddened to learn about the late political activist's tragic murder or if you're just learning about the infamous streaking incident now. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.